All right, guys, this is my final video of our trip to Bentonville, Arkansas. Kind of the recap on the whole trip and whatnot. This is the Kohler Bike Park. This is the bike park that we went to on the first day, got lost, and kind of had a bad first impression. Uh, this is me riding up to what they call the hub, kind of the accesses all the, you know, kind of gnarlier trails. I definitely enjoyed the trails that are up there. This is the trip where I learned that I need to practice a lot. I was scared to hit, hit a lot of the features. I was really nervous to hurt myself on vacation and obviously being able to drive back, but regardless, I obviously need to practice. It's funny because I actually came to Color Bike Park with the intention of hitting the pro line that's called Drop the Hammer, which I write up here and I take a look at it here in a moment. I don't know what I was thinking, like honestly, like because Drop of the Hammer, the drops that they have on there are way bigger than anything I've ever hit. I guess the GoPro effect and watching them on YouTube, I was like, oh, that's that's achievable, but yeah, they're not. Regardless, I had a lot of fun at Kohler Bike Park, and yeah, I'll give my overall recap on what I thought about Bentonville at the end of the video. Trust me, I'm not doing it. I want to go look at it, though. Drop the hammer, here's the pro line on this trail. And this, along with that over there, is one of the features on it. Drop the hammer is an extremely difficult trail. Yeah, and on YouTube, I was like, oh, I'm gonna do it. I'm not there yet. I can immediately tell that I am not there yet. I got some work to do. Yeah, take that one down. I'll find another way. Just go back to where we parked. That's Copperhead. What's this one? All right, rock soft it is. I don't know speak for this. Yeah, this is one of the trails where I avoided a lot of these little kicker features. I definitely could have hit them. I don't know why I was so in my head to not hit these. I've hit similar stuff in the past and it's been completely fine. Like just this morning I was riding stuff that was bigger than this out in Farmington. But uh, yeah, for whatever reason I was really nervous. New trail by myself, different area I guess. I was just in my head. But uh, yeah. This is where I learned that I'm not as good as I thought I was. I think we all kind of knew that, but yeah, I got some work to do.
Oh gosh. I didn't realize how far this went. I didn't either. I was gonna go back to an angle falls. But that's, that's, that's not where we need to be. I was like, that is not, it's not it. Yeah, here's Johnny leads right, right where we thought this led. So I rode back up, got on this, and got to see if I could catch you or not. Yeah, I just told you I'm a big shit I had it. Yeah, so overall, me and my wife, we really enjoyed Bentonville, Arkansas. This is a place that we we're debating on moving because it's close to her family. And me, coming from a pretty privileged area when it comes to mountain biking, you know, I'm 30, 40 minutes away from Durango, Colorado, and if you're familiar with mountain biking, then you know Durango, Colorado. I'm not that far from Moab, Utah. I'm really close to Sedona, Arizona. I'm in a very, very good location when it comes to mountain biking. So coming out here and seeing that there's, you know, still stuff to experience and ride is really cool and I think that Bentonville kind of checks all the boxes as far as like it, whether you're a beginner to a very experienced rider they have stuff out there for everyone so I think it's a great location and I love that stuff like this is becoming more popular in the mountain biking community and it seems like little bike parks like this like Kohler and Slaughter Pen are popping up all over the place I really enjoyed it I do wish the elevation was a bit more I don't know I wish there was more elevation I know 45 minutes away from Bentonville is Eureka Springs which I heard has quite a bit of downhill uh, i wish i had more time to go and check it out but yeah overall me and my wife we really enjoyed the bentonville and we can't wait to go back and i would recommend anyone who's thinking about going to go ahead and make the trip because it was definitely a lot of fun